Hi kids. Well, gotta tell you, I recorded a video, put it up on my YouTube channel, and I called it A Day in the Life of Gail. And I just told a little story. It was kind of funny. Didn't think much of it, but I put it on YouTube so I could send it to people, my friends, and they just t tap the link and they could go watch it. Well, as of today, there's over 4,000 views of me telling a story. So I thought, well, I'll give it another try. And I have a story that's doozy, and it is completely 100% true. Uh, I don't need to change the name to protect the innocent because they're dead now. <laughs> it's a story about both my mother and my father. It was probably the most cringeworthy state I've ever been in. Nothing has topped it since. Nothing. I don't think anything ever will top this. My father was having problems with his urine. He gets up there in age of 88 and he wore the pens, but he would get really, really, really upset when he would pee in them. So my brother-in-law, who was a doctor, told my mother, get what's called a Texas catheter. It's basically like putting on a condom, only it's receptacles much bigger. Okay, so my mother said, all right, give your dad his lunch. I'm going to go get that catheter. It's at a medical equipment store. Okay, so I sat and talked to my dad while he had his lunch, and the phone rings, and it's my mother, and this is what she said to me, Gail, go in the linen closet on the second shelf in that wooden box, there's a tape measure in there, I want to go get it out, I said, why, she's just, 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 do what I tell you to do. Go get that. I said, right now? She goes, yes, right now. I said, okay. So I went and got it. I said, all right, I've got it. I said, all right. What I need you to do is I need you to measure your father's penis because they're two different sizes for these Texas catheters. And I thought, oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Stop the story right there. That shit ain't going down. I'm not doing that. I said, are you out of your mind? Are you out of your mind? I said, I'm not going to get into my father's junk. No, I'm not doing it. She goes, you stop arguing with me. I need you to do it. And I said, well, I'm going to ask him first. So I said, Dad, this kills me. This just kills me. But mom's on the phone. She wants to get to that Texas catheter that Howard talked about. But they come in different sizes, so she wants me to measure your penis. And I just don't think I can do that. I really, really don't. You know, oh, I don't care anymore. I don't care. I said, well, why don't you just measure it? No, I can't see that tape measure very well. It was so old, it was a cloth one. I said, no, Dad, you know what? I, I, I just can't fucking do that. I can't do it. He goes, Gail, stop. It doesn't bother me. If that's what your mother needs, some measurement, just do it. Just do it. I don't care. I said, you may not, but boys, I sure as fuck do. And he kind of giggled a little bit. I said, this is just go to get to nature. 
daughters are not supposed to measure their father's penises. End of story. Damn it. So, you might be wondering how that all went. Well, I had my dad pull down this depends, and I got behind him, and I'm kind of <laughs> taking the tape measure, kind of feeling my way and peeking over, oh, okay, and then adjusting it and stuff and taking the peeking, oh, okay. So I said, is it on there tight? He goes, yeah, yeah. I said, can you read, can you tell me what the measurement is? He goes, no, I can't see that without glasses on. So, oh, Jesus Christ. So I had to peek around and look and see how big it was. That would deflate a man's integrity, right? <laughs> it wasn't very big. It just wasn't. And I felt so bad. I really did. I know that when penises are not active, they're in a flaccid state. They're small. All men's are small. But when it's your dad, that's just some fucking information you don't need to know. You don't need to know it. So I said, okay, Dad, pull your pants up. I'll go tell Mom. So I can't remember what the measurement was, but it was somewhere around two inches, two and a half, but two and a half inches. So I told him, she goes, okay. And just hung up the phone. When she got home, I said, I cannot believe you put me in that situation and made me do that. You could have come home, measured your husband, and gone back to pick it up. For you to tell his daughter to do it goes against nature. It's sick. It's just, it's wrong. She goes, oh, stop making such a big deal about it. It's over with. It's over with. So what? So what? So you saw a penis. Big deal. I'm like, hey, just because I saw a penis, I wouldn't have a problem with anybody else's penis. No problem at all. But it was my dad's penis, and that makes all the difference in the world. So she got really, really bitchy with me, and I was like, fuck it. I'm going in my room. I'm closing the door. I'm going to get my guitar out, and I am going to try to get this crap out of my head. Obviously, since this took place like um, mm, six, seven years ago, it's still in my memory bank. That's something you can't unsee. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. So, to this day, I don't know if I was helpful or if that was just sick. <laughs> it's just sick. So... There's my story. It's all true. And I hope you can get a little chuckle out of it. Brighten up your day. So, I don't know how I can top that story, but I had forgotten about it when I did the one about the dentist's office. I'm in the eye doctor's office. So, there you have it, kids. Uh, do what you might with that. <laughs> Oh, I think I have a broken rib, and I have four discs that are crushed in my back, so I have to get up slow and walk like I'm 90 years old. <sighs> All right, y'all just go ahead and have a laugh on me. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, my bangs all sugar up. Bye.